everybody, Jake here. I'm excited to tell you about something we've been working on because we're doing something totally new with it. So first of all, you'll notice here that I have a 3 quarter inch EMT conduit T-connector and a 1 inch conduit T-connector. And today we're going to be talking about the new prototype for the 1 inch or 1 and 3 eighths inch top rail fence pipe T-connector. That's kind of a long name. <laughs> we have a long time before we actually have to, to make a new name for it. But, but as of right now, that's that's the name for it. It's just a T-connector for the one and three eighths inch top rail fencing pipe. And as you can see, it is so much bigger than the other connectors, especially, you know, if you look at the difference between the three quarter inch and the top rail T. Uh, but we're doing something different with this. Normally, whenever we release a new connector, we've already gone through the designing and the prototyping and the testing and all of that kind of stuff. And then we release it and you guys learn about it when we're releasing it and you have the option to buy it right away. But this is something, you know, if we were to not tell you about this, it would be a couple of months before you'd actually see this, you know, being released. Uh, but we're doing something new, and that is an interest check to see if this is something that you guys, you know, are interested in, if you have ideas for it, if you want to see other connectors, if you like the idea of a connector for top rail, that kind of thing. And we've made a landing page that will be linked down below that you can check out. You can see a bunch of different photos and more details about the connector. And then there's also a form there that you can fill out. If you have a few minutes, we'd really appreciate it. You basically can say whether or not you're interested in it, if you have build ideas, that kind of thing. And you, know, you don't have to do that, of course, but it would mean a lot to us because that's really the whole point of doing this. We want to include the community more in the process. You guys have been really instrumental in a lot of, in a lot of the connectors and accessories that we've put out so far. And this is kind of another step to include you guys more in the actual manufacturing process of an idea and how a connector uh, comes to be. So that'll be linked down below. And of course, you can just leave a comment down below too as well. Uh, that works you know, just as fine. We'll still see it that way. Um, but also in that interest check form, you can let us know if you want to receive email updates. So once we get some feedback and we start moving forward with the design, if people do want this to become an actual connector that we sell, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do emails and things like that to just let you know where we're at in the process and kind of share update, uh, updates and, and everything like that based on, based on y'all's feedback. But here it is, this is the top rail T connector. As you can see, it's pretty much the same design that you know and love for the T connector. It's two mirrored halves that interlock together with the puzzle piece on top and it connects two pipes. You have one through pipe at the top and then you have one here that terminates inside the bottom of the connector. The two puzzle pieces lock together and then the connector goes together like that. And then you just need a single nut and bolt to tighten everything up. And it's still just as easy to use, even though it's a larger pipe and larger connector, you just need a five millimeter hex wrench to assemble it. And whenever you're tightening the bolt, the nut will lock in place there. And if you don't know about top rail, if you have a chain link fence near you, or next time you see one, just pay attention at the very top of the fence going horizontally across the top, you'll see this pipe, which is known as top rail. It's an inch and three eighths diameter and it's galvanized. It's made to be used outdoors and withstand, you know, harsh weather and things like that. And it's, it's just like conduit in the fact that it's, it's a great pipe. It's strong. It has a great value uh, to strength benefit. And it's just a great pipe that, is meant to be used for something else other than building, but with the connector solution and with the building system, you'll be able to use it for your DIY projects. And you know, I actually found out, I was surprised whenever I was picking up some of this for the photos and the testing of the first prototype, that this is actually cheaper, a 10 foot stick is cheaper than one inch EMT conduit, which is crazy because they're both galvanized steel pipes and the top rail is larger um, by a decent amount and it's actually cheaper. I don't know why, but it is. So that's, that's really cool because you can get a really strong pipe and it has a great value to the builder. Um, but and another thing too, you know, it's just one tool to assemble the connector, but just like with conduit, you can use a handheld pipe and tube cutter. This is the one that we sell. And I did find that you could basically, if you push hard enough, uh, which again, I don't, I don't think you should do that because it kind of messes up the wheel, the cutter wheel. Uh, so I'm not going to recommend it, but it did work. I just had to kind of apply some pressure here until the top rail kind of popped down into the rollers and then I just, you know, rotate it around and cut it like normally. But still you could, they actually make these for larger diameter pipes. 
you just pick up one of those and it'll be just as easy as conduit to cut by hand and then you know the one tool connector assembly so you'll be able to build even bigger projects just as easy as before and that's really cool and really exciting another thing too you know the other connectors we've done several videos on shimming them down to different pipes and tubes and so far all we've tested is this shim which is on one inch EMT conduit and it fits really well inside of here so that means you'll be able to build with one inch EMT and then you know brace accordingly or kind of reinforce that one inch EMT build with top rail which is really cool or you could even build off of your top rail fence that you have maybe you have a garden enclosure with chain link fence something like that you could build off of it and use the one inch EMT uh, you know or just build off of it and use the top rail so that's really cool that's the only one we've tested so far but we'll do more in the coming weeks and months and if there's anything specific that you guys want us to you know check and see if it works that's what the whole point of this is but that's basically it for this overview this is the top rail t prototype again that'll be linked down below if you want to check out that page and then fill out the form and let us know what you think about it or again you can just you know leave a comment down below we'd love to hear your feedback thanks everybody for being so great we really love the community and we're glad to be doing something else to kind of incorporate the community more into the business as a whole because you guys uh, are really awesome and really are the best part of what we do that's all i have for you in today's video thanks everybody for watching we'll see you in the next one